New reports suggest that we'll get four versions of the Galaxy Note 10 and I'll be telling you everything you need to know right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. While the Galaxy Note 10 launch isn't until August, we're receiving more and more information each week. The latest report suggests that Samsung will be continuing with the strategy we saw in the S10 by releasing four different versions of the Note. This also makes sense considering the different reports we've had about varying screen sizes as well as 5G and non-5G variants. The report from South Korea suggests that the main Galaxy Note 10 will have a huge 6.75 inch display and 4 cameras on the rear, or the smaller variant will have a 6.28 inch display with a triple camera on the rear. They will be the same apart from two will be LTE only and the other two will support 5G connectivity and in terms of the rest of the specs they're reportedly going to be the same. The smaller variant with the triple camera system will most likely be missing the time of flight sensor. As we've seen so far, the strategy of releasing more devices has proved successful for both the S10 range along with the 2018 iPhones, so it's a great move from Samsung to try and catch varied consumer budgets and device preferences. Something I'd also like to address here is the camera inside the S Pen rumor. I'm not sure where this came from, but there are a lot of people in the comment section who want this to happen. While I have no information on the subject, I can assure you that it's not going to happen this year. In fact, I'm so sure it won't happen, I'll make a deal. If the Note 10 has a camera in the S Pen, I'll delete my whole YouTube channel. Samsung generally provide us with a polished device and a camera inside the S Pen just doesn't fit in with that. There will be too many issues like a poor preview on screen due to the limitations of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth along with a reasonable battery source that would of course be required inside the S Pen to power the camera and transfer in such a small device. After the success of the punch hole camera, we'll be seeing this in the flagships for the next couple of years until the cameras are successfully embedded inside the display. With the launch of the A80, people are also speculating that they may incorporate this into the Note 10, but let's not forget the A80 is a mid-range device, while a great idea and something that has been perceived pretty positively so far, I can't see this going into the Note either. We have however had various leaks along with info from Ice Universe to suggest that Samsung will be upgrading the size of the main sensor. With so much competition from the likes of Huawei, this is a great move for Samsung. There's no information on what sensor this could be though. Samsung of course have their own bright GM1 sensor but a lot of devices in the market now are opting for the Sony. Along with the main sensor we're also expecting a 12 megapixel telephoto and a 16 megapixel wide angle on the smaller variants with the addition of a time of flight sensor on the larger one with 4 cameras. The Galaxy Note 10 renders from Phone Arena give us a good idea of what the phone will look like, but it's important to point out that these are concept images and not leaks. Of course, we know it will be similar to the S10 in a more Note-like form. The Galaxy Note 10 will no doubt have the ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanner given that the rest of the 10th anniversary range have it, and the screen will of course be protected by Gorilla Glass 6. In terms of hardware, it's no doubt going to be using the Snapdragon 855 system on chip in North America and the Exynos 9820 globally. However, there are rumors of the Exynos 9825, but at this moment, we're not sure. RAM and storage configurations, I'd expect them to be similar to the S10 Plus, so probably something like 8 or 12 gigs of RAM with 128, 512 and 1TB storage, and it will of course come with Android 9 Pie in the form of One UI. With the Galaxy S10 5G model having a 4500mAh battery, I would expect the Note 10 to have somewhere around the same, and when it comes to colours, we're hoping for another gradient range, and the Note 10 will of course include the new S Pen. While not for everyone, the S Pen has proved very popular and one of my favourite things about the Note series. It's evolved a lot over the years, so it's going to be exciting to see what new features the S Pen brings with the brand new Note 10. Bringing the S Pen to a smaller display is also a great move as there's plenty of consumers out there who don't want a phone with a large display but may still want the S Pen. 
It will likely come with the hybrid SIM tray for SIM card and external storage and be IP68 water resistant, but at this stage it's all mainly speculation and educated estimates based on previous models but it's still exciting to see images of what we may get. The Note launch is likely to be in August this year and will no doubt have leaks flooding in nearer the time. When it comes to pricing, I would expect it to be higher than the Note 9, which launched at about $1000, but if we do see camera upgrades, then this will no doubt bump that price even higher. Of course, as more informational leaks come to light, I will be sharing them with you guys, and as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Are you happy that there's going to be four versions of the Note 10, and which version will you be going for? But thank you for watching the video, if you liked it smash the thumbs up, if you didn't hit that thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.